بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay now in the previous sections we have already discussed some examples in the configuration of standard acls and also we have seen the implementation and the verification as well so just for practice purpose we'll try to uh, see a few of the one line standard acl statements uh, probably just to understand a little bit more better again uh, what will be the configuration we'll be using if i have a requirement uh, specific so i'll i'll be using a requirement and then we'll see what will be the acl statement to write that particular requirement in one line statement in general here okay so let's go ahead with this example here so let's say you want to match a specific traffic or the specific packet from this specific host and you can see it's a specific host so how we are going to write this we just simply say access list any number you can use in between 1 to 99 as we are talking about the standard acls and again it is permitted or not it depends because specifically here I'm not specifying whether it is a permit or deny. So simply if you want to match, but you had to write permit or deny any one statement out of this. And then I can simply type in the host space IP address or if you're using the new iOS versions, probably you can just simply type in the IP address or even you can write uh, the wildcard mask as all zero. So all the three options are correct. So we generally write like this. Similar way, if you take another example, let's say you want to, uh, you want to match all the packets from specific host 192.168.6 matching the first three octets so how it's going to be so it's going to be 192.168.6.0 and matching the first three oct octets means the wildcard mask should be 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 so we have seen that wherever there is zero it has to match and wherever there is binary ones that portion will be ignored so according to this this is how we write so the acl number can be anything the permit or deny the common part and then this is going to be the wildcard mask now similar way if you take another example here if you want to match a specific packets matching the first two octets which means 192 168 so we'll be writing 192 168 0, .0 .0, and then the wildcard mask will write as 255255 so matching the first two portions means the first two portions should be written with a wildcard mask of 00, 0. Now, similar way, if you want to match any host packets from any host, then basically we are going to use a keyword called any. So we'll use access list, any number, permit or deny, and then we say any. Any is a keyword we use to match any any host, means any host or any device or any IP generally. Now, similar way, if you want to match a specific host from this subnet, now again, if you are Going with this kind of scenarios, then basically I expect you to know the backend submitting concepts because at the end you need to write down this network ID 10.1.200.0 and then we need to write the wildcard mask. Now in order to calculate the wildcard mask again, we need to know the actual subnet mask of the address. Again, the subnet mask is based on the slash 21. So slash 21 means, you know, 8816, 8, 16 plus 5 and then 0. So the subnet mask is going to be 255255 and then 248.0. That will be the subnet mask. And to get your wildcard mask, what we will be doing, so we'll be subtracting 255 from all 255s. Just subtract this 255255248.0. Again, whatever the value we get, that is your wildcard mask. So if you subtract from 255, 248.7.255. So which means we'll be writing this network ID and with this wildcard mask in order to match all the addresses within that range. Okay, so, so basically if I go and write, this is going to be, this is, this is how we write because in the production scenarios, you generally see the subnets. Even though in my basic examples, I have not used the subnets just to avoid, you know, unnecessary confusions. So we have used with the default networks over there, but you may, you may see the requirements with this, with this kind of things. So again, if you want to figure out how, what are the addresses includes in that, again, you need to know the subnetting concepts, host bits, you need to find out how many, and then, you know, to the power of 11, 2048, and then the range, you know, the range, the range will be from 200.0 to 207.255, I think 207.255, that, that will be the range. So which means it includes all the addresses in between this range. 
again, this is not compulsory. You just need to know the uh, wildcard marks, what we need to write. But at the back end, you need to understand that when I'm writing this, this network ID with this wildcard mask, it automatically include all the addresses which comes, which fall in this range. Okay. Now, similar way, if you're writing packets for subnet, let's say you're using some subnet in your network with slash 27. Again, the same thing we need to do. Slash 27 means we need to write the first way to calculate the wildcard mask. So to get the wildcard mask, again, we need to know the subnet mask as well. So how we calculate the subnet mask? So again, these are all concepts based on submitting. So I expect you to know some good foundation knowledge on the submitting part. And then subtract from all 255s. So if I just all 255s, so I'm just writing here. So 000, and then it's going to be 31. So which means if you want to match all the addresses within this range, within this range of the subnet, this is the wildcard mask we'll be using. So we write access list, any number, permit or deny, and then write the network ID and the write the wildcard mask. Again, uh, again, let's say one more example. So if you have this specific subnet with a slash 23, now again with slash 23 means we need to find out the subnet mask. Now subnet mask will be 887.0, right? So 255, 255254.0. So if I subtract from all 255s, so I'm just writing here, if I subtract from all 255s, it will be 0, .0, 0 dot, just ignore this, 0, .0, 0 dot, how much, 1 dot 255. So which means the wildcard mask will be, so when you're writing the ACLs, if you want to match all the addresses within this range, so we'll be using the wildcard mask of 0, .0, 0 dot, 1 dot 255. A similar way, a couple of more examples here. So packets to match a specific subnet, will be using uh, 0.0.0.63. You can just go ahead and calculate these examples. Okay, so slash 26 means, again, you have to write the submit mask. So submit mask is going to be 255, 255, 255, 192. If you just add uh, bits. And of course, if you want to calculate the wildcard mask from all 255s, we'll subtract the submit mask. So it's going to be 0 .0 0.0.0.63. That's what you can see here. A similar way, a couple of more examples here. You can see this is the network ID. And if I if I want to match all the addresses within this network ID, so I'll be using this wildcard mask. Likewise, this is the wildcard mask for this range of addresses. Okay, so basically you need to understand the requirement. So in your production networks, when you have a specific requirements, so these are all different ACL statements. But let's say if you if you get this kind of requirements, you should be in a position to write. The ACL statement, of course, the sequence and other things you need to consider, but these are like all individual statements I'm I'm writing here.